The influencer known as Kai Kenat has found themselves in legal trouble following a chaotic incident involving thousands of people in New York City. In New York City, social media influencer Kai Senat has been charged with inciting a riot and encouraging an unlawful assembly. Senat, known for his online streaming, attracted a large following, predominantly made up of teenagers by offering giveaways of electronics, including the highly sought-after PlayStation. The outcome of this event was complete disorder, resulting in numerous arrests. Some individuals climbed onto vehicles, others threw bottles and physical altercations occurred. After being given a desk appearance ticket, Sena was released from police custody on Saturday. This ticket is a directive from the police that mandates the suspect's presence in court to address the charges against them. According to a police representative, Senat is scheduled to make a court appearance on August 18th. The chaos that unfolded in Union Square, New York City on Friday afternoon brought attention to the significant influence that social media influencers wield over their devoted followers. During a press conference on an unrelated criminal incident, Mayor Eric Adams asserted that social media cannot serve as a substitute for raising our children. According to law enforcement, a total of 65 individuals were apprehended, out of which 30 were minors. Numerous individuals sustained injuries, with a few experiencing facial lacerations. Emergency medical services transported a minimum of four individuals via ambulances for further medical attention. According to Adams, the extent of our self-control often goes unnoticed. We were able to navigate a highly precarious and unpredictable situation with remarkable composure. Our objective was to attain a peaceful resolution, and we achieved this without any casualties or significant property damage. Most importantly, we ensured the safety and well-being of the young individuals involved, preventing any harm from befalling them. Tsenat, a video creator who is 21 years old, has amassed a considerable following of 6.5 million on the popular live streaming platform Twitch. Additionally, he has garnered 4 million subscribers on YouTube, where he shares a variety of content, including daily vlogs that showcase his comedic antics and aspects of his everyday life. These vlogs span from humorous pranks such as the fake hibachi chef prank to his most recent video titled I Rented Us Girlfriends in Japan. Collectively, his YouTube channel boasts an impressive total of 299 videos that have garnered over 276 million views. Furthermore, he achieved the remarkable honor of being named Streamer of the Year at the esteemed 12th Annual Streamy Awards in December. Despite attempts to contact his publicist, management company and business inquiry email, there has been no immediate response. As the event gained momentum, Kenat took to Twitch to live stream from his vehicle. During the live stream, he showcased the gift cards that he intended to distribute. Recognizing the size of the crowd and the presence of law enforcement, he emphasized the importance of everyone's safety. Senat made it clear that no action would be taken until the situation was deemed secure. After some time, he and a group of people disembarked from the car and hurriedly made their way through a crowd. They crossed a street and entered the park, where Senat was greeted by an enthusiastic and rowdy crowd. During the course of the afternoon, Chief Jeffrey Madre from the New York Police Department announced that Senat was relocated for his own protection. Additionally, he confirmed that the police were maintaining communication with Senat. Various videos, shared on social media platforms and captured by news helicopters, depicted the moment when Senat was carefully lifted over a fence and escorted away from the crowd. Eventually, he was safely placed inside a police vehicle. The streets were inundated with a frenzied and compact mass of people, as captured by the aerial TV news footage. They moved swiftly, scaling structures within the park and causing chaos on the roads. Amongst the crowd, teenagers could be heard shouting as they wielded objects, vandalizing car windows, hurling paint cans and activating fire extinguishers. An unfortunate few attempted to climb onto a moving vehicle only to be flung off when it accelerated. Meanwhile, some individuals pounded on city buses or even managed to climb atop them. 19-year-old Skylark Jones compared the situation to a cinematic experience as law enforcement personnel, equipped with riot gear, arrived and proceeded to aggressively approach individuals. Jones and a companion arrived with the intention of securing an opportunity to acquire one of the complimentary items.
Upon their arrival, they discovered a crowded and chaotic atmosphere which had already materialized prior to Senat's appearance, as stated by him. Madre reported that three officers sustained injuries. According to Madre, we have faced similar situations in the past, but never to such a perilous extent. Madre emphasized that their stance is not to discourage young individuals from enjoying themselves or from socializing. However, it is imperative to acknowledge that there is a threshold beyond which such gatherings become hazardous. The unfortunate reality is that several individuals sustained injuries as a result of this event. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.